What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video. It is Knots Week, our final video of the week. Hope you guys have been enjoying all the Knots content. We have filmed a lot for you to keep you guys updated, to give you guys game plans, to give you guys our hype list. And this is going to be the last of the hype list. This one's going to do with shows and scare zones. Uh, starting off with shows, we have a total of six shows with five scare zones. So it's going to be a lot of fun to break these down to see what everyone's lists are. Um, I'm joined by uh, my good pal, my good friend, Sammy. We're here to talk Not Scary Farm. We have been all week. I hope you guys have been enjoying that, the Awaken the Spirits contact, and then tune tune in next week because we're going to be doing a whole Horror Nights week with a surprise video for the last day of the week. So stay tuned. Uh, on top of a podcast that we had filmed, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that later on too. So let's get started. Sammy, uh, number six for shows. What's your number Ooh, six? Number six for shows. Let's see. Got a list here. Dulce de la Noche. That is both number... of our number sixes then. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's it's a good time, uh, but uh, you can um, you, you can hear me. I'm going to talk directly to you knots right now. You can better use that space. Please and thank you. Or a scare zone. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Or a maze. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, I mean it, it's it's not much said with that. I mean it's a, it's a it's a dancing thing. It's 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 not more our thing. We're there to go get scared. We'll go to go to the the scare zones and the um the mazes. Uh, I guess it's more for the uh the the teen youth who like to uh as the they say boppers. as they say turn up, <laughs> cut the rug, cut the rug. Um, so for all the the teens that will be there, um, hope you guys have a please great go time. there. Yeah, you have a great all time. All of you, all of you, have a great time. Have a great time, you know. Well, me, Manny, me. me and Manny, well, or me and Manny, me and yeah, Sammy. Me and Manny. Uh, you see how tired I am? Uh, yeah. Me and Sammy will be uh, hitting the scare zones and the mazes, so. And the other yeah. shows that I have to offer. Yeah. Um, yeah. Number five for me is going to be uh, Conjurers. Is that your number five, too? You stole my list, bro. Stole the list, bro. I think we have pretty similar um, lists, so. Uh, Conjurers, obviously, uh, it's a fun show, funny show. It's a good way to kind of, uh, you know, step away from the, the scares for a little bit and get a little comedy in you with some magic. It's a fun time. I remember, I think we saw it a couple times. Yeah, um, we did. It was a fun time, though. I, I liked it, but, uh, you know, it's not something I have to see every time, so. I, I agree. It's not, it's not a, it's not a, it's not a up. must. It's not, it, yeah, it's not, it's not pumping up. It's not pumping up. Um, <laughs> Spoiler. Spoiler. <laughs> uh, it's it's a fun time though. Uh, the magic, magician they had previously in 2019. Fun time. Yeah. Um, if you're looking for a little a little break, maybe you got that fast pass, and, or you have, or you're one of the few lucky ones that got a season pass. Yep. Um, go ahead and check it out. It'll it'll be a great little half hour, 45 minute break. Mm -hmm. Sit down, some nice cool air conditioning, get a couple of laughs in. You know, or if you like magic, go check it out. But uh, if you're there one night, there's a few other shows that I would recommend. <laughs> uh, number four, what is it, Sammy, for you? Uh, Carnival de Grotesque. I think we stole each other's list because that's my, my number four. <laughs> <laughs> um, the only, it's gonna be. I feel like it's gonna be a great show, uh, and it's going on in the Calico stage. I think, if I recall right. I thought that Invitation uh, to Terror was going on in the Calico stage. I have no idea where invitation the tear is going. I think I think that's going to Mystery Lodge. Might be. I think that's going to Mystery Lodge. Um, Carnival de Grotesque. I feel like it's going to be a good show because they always put on a high value production there on Calico Stage. Yeah. But I also, when I think of like grotesque, it's like kind of off putting. Um, and so if they have like any contortionists or things like that, uh, count me out because I don't like seeing that. <laughs> like I don't want to see your body do things that it shouldn't biologically do. Um, and so uh, if they start doing some weird bending stuff. It's about, just stuff that we can't do. They've trained their bodies and had a good diet, and me and you chose the opposite way. So Yeah, uh, we chose uh, a lot of late-night drivers. Yes. Spent a lot of money on this body. Yep. I don't regret any bit of it. Uh, I, what, are you on four now? Huh? Are you four? What number are we on? I got mixed up now. We're on. This was four. So yeah, it was the same thing. The carnival for me is going to be uh, um, number number four. I, I I'll check it out one of the nights. You know, especially the night yeah. we do um, 
you know, uh, front of the line. I'll definitely probably be checking out all the shows just to see what they're what's new for them this year or if they're the same, you know. I mean, but uh should be interesting, should be a lot of fun. Uh number three for me, uh invitation to tear. Um, is that the same for you? Uh so number three for me is gonna be invitation to tear only because uh it does sound interesting from what I read. Uh the little like uh synopsis they gave us. So I, I'm excited to see what that has to bring. It's like a mixture of like eighties with like technology and, and horror yeah. so it should be a lot of fun uh it should be cool especially if it's in the mystery lost uh stage area i haven't been in there in years so it'd be cool to go back in there so well i mean you've been in there but you just grabbed your gun and well yeah going. but like not actually sat down and watched <laughs> the show you know so yeah you went inside grabbed your gun and said bye, bye. yeah so we should uh <laughs> that should be a lot of fun and i'm assuming number three is the same for you yeah invitation to tear a lot of fun probably that's something i want to definitely check out um, and so, and I, it's a quick 20 minute show. So I'm, I'm sure we can put that in somewhere in our trip. Yeah. Uh, um, so number two for you, wicked drums. Yep. Same for me. Yeah. We have the same list. So this is, we're the same know where this is going. <laughs> we did. And by the way, we did not exchange lists prior. No, we, we didn't. Just have, we just have very similar tastes. Yeah. Um, I feel like this is a show I really want to see as well. Yeah. Um, Especially because you and I missed out on Blood Drum, so this will be kind of like yeah. a, a kind of like a spiritual sequel to that in a different yeah. theming. Yeah, definitely. And I really enjoyed the Hollow Show 2019. Yeah, the Burning of the Wicker Man and like yeah. the story. So, um, it's a story I really want to dive more into. Mm -hmm. Um, and so I'm very much looking forward to Wicked Drums uh, on the Campus Newbie stage. Yeah, and the last show, me and Sammy are both looking forward to. The most anticipated we loved in 2019, and that is Puppet Up uh, at the Charles M. Schultz Theater, man. I mean, Puppet Up, the mix of improv with puppets. Sammy and I have a, a, a history of improv in high school, so we, we love improv as it is. Uh, but to mix it with puppets is just 10 times funnier. Um, uh, can't forget Wendy. Wendy is the, uh, yep, you know, you know, yep. you know, Wendy, you know. If you know, you know. If you know, you know, Wendy, man. I mean, when I found yeah. that song on Spotify, I immediately told Sammy about it, and he was like, what, bro? Gotta and get it. Knows it's windy. windy. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. And, uh, but, yeah, it's a fun time. I like when they do audience participation. That's a lot yeah. of fun. And I really like when, um, you know, they get they get audience suggestions as well. So uh, yeah. it's a lot of fun. I can guarantee you, after we watch that show, we will be walking around singing Windy. If, Windy's if they do there. Windy again, maybe they might have a uh, they might have Never a out. whole new lineup of games and a whole new lineup of a uh, different song. So I mean, Bro, that's another know. that's another exciting thing about it is it could be new games that they've been practicing since the off season. Yeah. So there could be some fresh ideas coming. It's been out. Two years. Yeah, or they could bring back some oldies but goodies, and we wouldn't mind that one bit because it was all hilarious. Yeah. No matter how many times we saw it, and we knew where the show was going. It was hilarious. So. Yes, sir. Um, let's move on to some scare zones, man. This is the in-between attractions that you get to yeah. while you're going through each maze, uh, while you're getting to each maze. These are the what keeps the scares in your blood pumping at the event. A very yeah. important um, aspect of every haunt is a scare zone, and that's what yes, keeps, sir. keeps you on your toes throughout the whole event. Uh, yeah. Number five, what are you, where are you going with that one? Ooh, it's the one that is called Forsaken Lake. We have the same number five. Yeah, number five. Um, small zone, packs a beautiful punch. The uh, the, the ceremony, uh, recession or the recession, whatever it's called, yeah. the procession it was always a good time. Uh, costumes just beautiful, just visually stunning, visually great. Um, yeah. you know, my only complaint is it's so small that yeah. you only just get a quick little nibble. So we want it. I want more. Want it expanded, <laughs> Fiesta Village. Uh, yeah, please. You Please. can mix like a you can mix like a Mexican folklore with Forsaken Lake. It'd be dope, dude. Like mix some Lachona, bro. Get some Lachona in there. Hey. Yeah, that'd be good. Uh, but yeah. just make it go all the way down the lake. I yeah, mean. I'm just saying. You know, we'll have some fun. Uh, yeah, for me, it's Forsaken Lake too. Um, like Sammy said, I think mostly it's just because it's a small zone. Um, Sammy and I really actually do enjoy Forsaken Lake. We just wish yeah. it was a little bit bigger. Uh, we both, uh, we like I said, we have a theater background, so we see the theater side of that that zone, and it's and it's a beautiful story told, and um, just overall scenically, just it looks cool with the lighting and everything. It looks perfect. So the sets are cool and everything, and the, and the recession is just it's something you have to check out while you're there. It's 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 
Don't miss it. It happens, I think, at the top of every hour, I believe, or the bottom of every hour. I have no idea. It happens a few <laughs> times a night, so you'll you'll yeah. you'll you'll likely catch it. So you gotta you just gotta if you just gotta catch it. Number four for me is gonna go to the hollow. Ooh. Is this where we change? This where we change. This where we change. So yeah, I'm gonna go to hollow on this one. I, I love the hollow, man. I, I really do. Um I, I like the story it tells and everything. So I, I'm looking forward to seeing a lot of friends return and work there, and uh, I can't wait to see what they have in stock for this season, especially with uh, Wicked Drums being right next to it, how they're going to tie that story in with the overall zone and tell, expand that story of the Hollow and hopefully expand that story of uh, earlier Sarah Marshall because that, that takes place like a couple hundreds of years. Like That's more like 1600s, 1700s, whereas Calico takes place in like the 1800s, doesn't it? Yeah, it's like 16s and then... Yeah, so that's like that's like that's like deep witch trials right there. So um, I'm excited to see that again return and what story they're going to tell and tying it further into origins would be a lot of fun. Uh, what's yes, your number sir. four? My number four will be Boardwalk Street. Carnival, huh? Yes, yes, the old Carnival. It's a good time. Great actors. Um, they'll have probably the hardest job of any scare zone that I currently walk through. It's really well lit. It's so lit. So um, they got to be really creative how they scare. Yeah, definitely have to be creative. So um, and special, they do a great job. Special respect and shout out to all those people that work there because they do a phenomenal job every year. Yeah, no, they do a great job. Um, and, you know, they have a, like I said, they have just a tough job. Because it's so lit and it's such a, a large area that they have to, they have to take up a lot of it. Yeah. Whereas something like ghost town is you know has narrow narrow streets and yeah. corners Literally, and dips and dives. Our walk is just one big l <laughs> like yeah it goes it from big. train tracks all the way to freaking the fountain you know what i mean so yeah it's yeah it's a big zone um my number oh, okay well, you're on three we're on three now yeah we're on three so uh, number three for me will be the hollow oh um a little flipper yeah. there a little flipper rudy right there um, I enjoy, I enjoy the hollow. Like it, it's a good zone. Um, I love the sliders over there. Uh, yeah. I like the soldiers, the witches, they have a lot of cool characters. Um, and I think I, it has such a good story. I like the little burning of the wicker man that happened at midnight every, every night. Yeah. Um, and then the fact that we're now getting a wicked drums to go tie into it. So it's, it's just a good time. It really is a lot of fun. Uh, it's a lot of fun to walk through every every night. So yeah. I just looking forward. I love to how that. well lit it is. It really sets the tone for the zone and everything. So yeah, it's got like that orangeous overtone. Yeah, so it's got um, that like so, Halloween feel to it. Yeah, definitely. Um, um, the scarecrows are cool. Yeah, shout out to our boy Armani. If you yeah. know, you know. You know, you know. A little Wolverine action. Yeah. Uh, my number three is actually going to go to Carnival. Um, I really enjoy to see how everyone comes up with their own adaptations of clowns. Um, and if you know, if you're scared of clowns, then it's just funny it's to watch. Uh, you know, we, we, we had, we took someone in 2019 that was terrified of them and we had the best time watching her walk through it. Um, your sister. So yeah. that was a lot of fun. Uh, but I, I mean, like I said, it, it is a very tough zone to work because it is so well lit. So you got to be a little bit more creative of how you approach a scare. Um, but they still do a phenomenal job of getting majority audience every night. Um, it th I think that fear for clowns, uh, touches on a lot of people. So with that on top of them coming up and scaring you, it, if you're already scared of clowns, it's going to be, it's going to be a fun night, you know? So, um, Always. my number two. And you're going to actually trip out on this one is ghost town. Yeah. Uh, don't get me wrong. I love ghost town. It is these original zone that started it all. Um, it's funny. Actually me and Mooch were talking yesterday uh, down the street. There's like a bunch of open property. And I was saying, imagine if Knott's bought that out and expanded their park. And then he brought the, uh, imagine they did a year round scary farm. Um, and I was like, the only problem with that is you cannot take away ghost town from, from Knott's Berry farm. That, that's a staple and Knott's Berry Farm, that is the zone that started it all. It's got so much history on the on those grounds right there. And and there's so many people that's come and gone and, and made an impact in the haunt world and at Knott's Berry Farm that you just can't take away Ghost Town from Knott's. It's it's the staple. Uh, it is the zone. It is the one that really, like I said, started it all. And like I said, so many people in the community that have, you know, become household names have 
come and go to that event and and scared on that on those streets so you, you know ghost town forever will have a special place in my heart um but it's not – I'm more excited this year for another zone, which we'll get to right now. But, Sammy, what's your number two? Because you're probably going to talk about that number two, which is my number one right now. Well, what if I told you I wasn't? Ooh. What's your number Ghost, two? Ghost Town Streets. Ghost Town is yours too. I, wow, okay. Yeah. Um, you, you, you said it, Legacy Zone, the one that started it all. Um. Filled with top-notch Bond space. Top-notch Bond space. Great scare. You're always guaranteed a good scare, whether you're going down Fawn Alley, going down Candy And that purple Lake. with that blue, it's just, it's it's a good going color. Going down Kmart, yeah. you're going by Birdcage. There's like always Candyland. There's always, there's always something lurking around the corner. Yeah. Good old Ghost Town Streets. Uh, but number one, I'm excited for it because it's the one area of the park that you, well, the, one of two areas in the park that you're safe. And now you're no longer safe. And that is Goring, Goring 20s, 20s, man. Yeah, I love the 1920s. Yeah. Um, the Prohibition era. If the mobster familiar. era, that too. Mobster era. Yeah. The costumes, uh, the, the way things were going, speakeasy. Potentially the secret bar. I mean, secret bar. We're taking something from the Queen Mary cookbook now. Yes, sir. So, um, so um, I, I'm excited. And, um, I think they're also going to have a very tough time because that's another well lit area of the park. Yeah, uh, but it's but it's a, it's a park that hasn't had a scare zone in a while. Yeah. So a part of the park that hasn't had a scare zone. I'm sorry. Not only um, that. So uh, a maze in general. There used to be a maze right there at the bumper cars. Remember? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, so I'm excited what they do here. Um, I know that some talent from around the park is going over there. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Um, so it's going to have top notch performers. Yeah. Um, so I'm excited yeah, to see cool. what happens there, and um, and the story it's telling because the little preview we got was super cool. Yeah, the Devil's Elixir, um, the the, the speakeasy. So um, I'm excited what we're gonna get. We're gonna probably get protesters. I really hope they're heckling people that are drinking. Yeah, I, I'm just excited. I'm excited to hopefully spend uh, you know some time there and just sit and watch the. Uh, watch the madness unfold yeah man i mean you said it best i mean i i'm looking forward to this zone a lot i mean like you said big fans of the 1920s uh, a lot of gangsters mobsters came out of there al capone being one of the most notable and, and biggest name to come out of that era um yeah. and you know you know speakeasies yeah 1920s there was a huge ban on alcohol so they were still doing underground bar bars having them illegally distributed to where they were from overseas um, and barrels and stuff. So they were, they were trying to really be sneaky with it uh, to take that story and kind of put a, a horror twist on it where there's a specific type of alcohol that they all drink and then they become, I don't know if they become like zombies or monsters or whatever, but I'm excited to see what that looks like, especially with the, the theming of the clothing in the 1920s. I mean, you and I are big fans of how they used to dress back then. You know, it was very sophisticated and very like respectable um, to take that and put a horror twist on it is going to be a lot of fun. Um, I'm hoping we get more answers about what that drink was. Maybe they'll tell us tell us a story as we go through it. Be a lot of interactiveness in there, and and the and the hopes that there will be a secret bar because they're heavily teasing about this the secret bar here. So it'd be a lot of fun to go through that and and see what they have and if they actually serve that green drink. I mean, your boy's going to have to at least try one. You know, I mean, just to, just to say I've tried it and you know, so you know, it'll be a lot of fun and and we're hoping. That if this zone does really good, not only will it get expanded a little bit, but uh, maybe make a whole maze telling like the story of it or something that, that you can put right back at the bumper cars again. It's been years since we had a maze right there, so it'd be good to tie it in right there. And why don't you walk out? You're back in the zone again. So um, it'd be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to it. And it, it, honestly, I was sold when I saw the trailer. So um, that's our most anticipated list for both scare zones and shows. We want to hear what you guys think of your most anticipated list for both shows and 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 <laughs> scare zones excuse me i i choked on spit a little bit <laughs> oh i'll take it yeah. yeah so go ahead and drop a comment below with that uh we look forward to reading those comments um and if you haven't done so already hit that like button it sure would mean a lot to us yep or if you've not done this as well we are super close to three thousand or twenty twenty four hundred 2400 i'm sorry well we're close to 3000 anyways yeah we are um so hit that hit that subscribe button so we can get there hopefully one day um that'll mean a, a whole lot Lots for both of us, of us. 
Um, if you haven't done so as well, hit the notification bell that way you can get notified every time we post uh, one of these beautiful videos because we got a lot of content coming your way. Next week, we got a week dedicated to HHN, as you heard at the beginning of the video. And then a week after that, it's know, season. Before you know it, it's haunt season. So uh, stay tuned, and we're, we're happy to deliver as much content yep. uh, to you all. I hope you guys enjoyed all of our Knots content this week. We we had a lot of fun making it, and we are very excited for the event. Like Sammy said, tune in next week for HHN, and then we got haunt season. So we got a busy schedule ahead of us. We can't wait for to share all the experiences we've experienced this uh, season. And uh, let's all do our part. Let's if, if we have to mask up, let's mask up. Let's get vaccinated so we can enjoy these parks and we don't get them shut down because we really, really miss haunt season. So um, we love each and every one of you. You guys stay safe, and we'll see you guys next week. Peace. You're moving into a dimension of